Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I'd like to go over some more syntax so that you can be clear about how to create certain types of code. In this video we'll go over operators and conditional statements. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, in our last video we went, our, we went over variables, uh, constants, uh, arrays, and in actuality, I forgot to go ahead and close out this array statement with a semicolon. Uh, we also went over loops, functions, and how to call a function. We, would, we also went over comments and the different types of comments that you can use with um, your JavaScript. So, in this video, let's go ahead and get rid of that code. We want to go over operators, right? Oops, can't type. We want to go over operators, and we want to go over con conditional or condition statements, right? So first, let's go over operators. An operator is, is very simple. It's usually the, um, the mathematical symbols that you're used to, right? So we got plus, we got minus, we have division, and um, let's see, we got plus, minus, and then we have multiplication, okay? And when we're using these type of operators, we use them the same way we would in a mathematical problem, right? So, oh, and I also forgot we got the, oops, we also have the equal sign. All right. So when you're uh, using when you're using uh, these uh, operators, when you when you're using them. Like I said, you use them the same way you do in math. So you got the plus sign, you got the negative sign, you've got the divide, division sign, you've also got the multiplication sign. Okay? You use them the same way you normally do in math. You can also use them for assigning. Like when you have a variable. You know, var name, and then you want to give this variable an assignment, you can do that, right, with the equal sign. That will give your variable a name, which in this case, it can be anything. It could be, you know, my name, G Max, then close it out with a semicolon. You would use this whether or not you're using uh, a variable. You would also use it to assign the value to a constant as well as a value to an array. So that's what you could do with an operator. Okay. And then you also have your um, logical operators. Okay. Um, like this right here. That's the OR operator. OR operator. And then you've got the um, ampersand, and I'm not saying it right. Oops, excuse me. Excuse me. And the ampersand operator. Actually, let me put that on a different line. Okay. And that's, that stands for the AND operator. And I believe these are called logical operators, right? And let me see. Then you have the NOT operator. That's the NOT operator. Okay. Those are also considered operators as well. Okay? 
Now, and for the next concept, let's go ahead and talk about um, conditional statements. A conditional statement, in this case, we're talking about using something like the if uh, statement. And with the if statement, you use that when you want to test out a condition, right? In other words, uh, you'd want to go like, if this process is uh, less than or equal to this process, go ahead and print out yes, else print no, or else if press no, else print whatever. And in this case, you, you could use conditional, or I'm sorry, you would use logical operators or, or these type of operators. Usually a, let me go ahead and put these in before we do the condition. Um, if you want to check and see if they were equal to each other, you would go, bam, bam, oops, I can't type today. So you would go, if one process is equal to each other, you would use that, or that, all, all, both of those mean the same thing. Or if you wanted to say, is it not equal to each other, you would use that symbol, right? You also have your less than and greater than signs. I forgot I forgot to mention those. So you have your less than sign, then you have your greater than sign. Then you have your either less than or equal to sign. Or you have your greater than and equal to sign. Okay? And then, to use those in your conditional statement would be very simple. Like I said, this is mainly talking about the if uh, conditional statement. So you would go, you would use the keyword if, and then you would use parentheses. And in here, you would create your statement, your test statement. In other words, let's say uh, if, um, let's see. The number three is equal to the number one. That's your condition. And then you want to go ahead and create your statement, which would be two squiggly brackets. And then for your squiggly brackets, you would create this one right here is the opening of your statement and this right here will be the closing of your statement and then in between that you would want to go ahead and create your condition and for re reading purposes let's go ahead and hit tab and then in here you would say if three if three is equal to one, then you would go uh, print print uh, yes, right, and then you would say else if, and then you use the squiggly brackets again. And then you would go print no. And then you would go else squiggly brackets print whatever. Right? And that would be your conditional statement. Okay, so to go ahead and read this again, you have your if keyword, and then you would go 
if 3 is equal to 1, then print yes. Else if, print no. Else, print whatever. So if the condition is true, we will print yes. Or if the condition is no, then we will print no. Or if neither conditions were correct or true, then you would print whatever. All right, and then these are you use uh, the double equal sign or triple equal sign, right? When you wanted to compare the values, right? And then you would use you could also use your logical uh, operators, which would be if you wanted to test more than one value which would be like, as we said earlier, if you want to do like and, and then if uh, two is not equal, to uh, let's just say five, right? So, if 3 is equal to 1, and if 2 is not equal to 5, print yes, else print no, or else if, print no, and then else print whatever. Okay, so in this case right here, um, this is going to print out both of these, right? So, in this case, I don't think we need this. Okay. So, it'll print out both of those. And then, in this one, these are called pipes. In Linux, there are Linux or Unix, this is called pipes, right? Um, but this is the symbol for the OR statement, okay? Meaning, print out this, this statement or this statement, all right? And it'll say print yes or print no or whatever. Sorry about that, okay? So, that's how we do conditional statements. That's how we use comparison operators and condi conditional statements. Okay. And so I just wanted to go over that with you um, so that you could see the, the way you use operators and conditional statements and the proper syntax. All right. So thank you very much. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, Please like and subscribe and you have a good day.